Style translation is the process of transforming an input motion, like this normal walk, into a new style, such as this sneaky crouch, or this injured limp. The desired translations are learned from examples. To build a style translation model, a user provides pairs of matching motions in the desired input and output styles. For each pair of motions, each frame of the input is mapped to stylistically corresponding pieces of the output. Time warping the output produces a dense frame-wise correspondence. Note that the original timing information is preserved, as indicated by the black rectangles. These correspondences are used to estimate a translation model, which encodes the spatial and temporal differences between the input and output styles. This can be used to process new motions. Given a single frame of motion in the input style, the model translates it into the output style. Inverting the time warp produces a properly timed result. In this manner, the model can receive a stream of frames in the input style and translate with no lag or look ahead. Furthermore, it can do this very quickly, since translation only requires several simple linear algebraic operations. The final step of our method is post-processing. Since our model has no knowledge of physics, kinematic constraints can be violated. To remedy this, we propose an automatic method to annotate constraints, such as foot plants. Furthermore, stall translation models are only as good as their training data. As a result, unusual inputs may not be properly translated. We present a method to compensate for such issues by taking the original input and selectively blending it with the translated result. In our first evaluation, we built translation models from normal walking to a variety of styles. These clips show some of the examples that were provided for training. To test our system, we captured this new walking motion in the normal style. Unlike the examples, it has random changes in speed and direction. And here are some of our results. Style translation works for other types of motion as well. This is a weak fighting sequence that could use some more aggressiveness. To perform the desired translation, we provided short examples of weak punches and kicks and aggressive punches and kicks. And here's the result of translating the original motion. Notice the differences in timing and posture. Stall translation models aim to preserve details in the original input. In this clip, we took a normal walking motion and exaggerated the arm swings. These two motions were then translated to emphasize the transfer of details. To demonstrate the ability of our technique to adapt to unexpected motions, we used the same walk translation models as we showed earlier, but translated significant deviations from what was seen in the examples.